Alrighty, hello guys, Lucky Me Faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks Hardcore Career Mode, and uh, today we're going to be making our way back home. Uh, unfortunately, we've been making some videos that haven't really been like, there's not really been too much going on in them. So today we're going to try and build a new boat. Um, essentially it's going to be the same boat with two different engines. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and retrieve our boat from last time, and we might even do a mission as well. We'll see. Anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so we have actually made it home, let's go ahead and modify our boat in order to, um, I guess make it work a little bit better for us. Uh, we're just going to use the same engine that we've used before, and, uh, or that we built last time I should say, and then we should be good to go from there. Uh, we're also obviously going to have to redesign the fuel tank and stuff like that, and then we're going to have to go get our boat from down there. However, there is also other boats around too that we could use, um, to go do as well, we could leave this one for now, but, um, no, I think we should go get it to be honest. So, uh, let's do that.
Okie dokie, so this is our boat right here. Obviously, nothing really has changed on the outside. We have added a hatch right here. Uh, and then on the inside, obviously, we've added a big old fuel tank down the middle. Uh, we've added our engines down the sides. And the other thing that we've done is actually put the, uh, the radiator on the outside. I know that was a complaint from before. Um, I figured in Stormworks the airflow didn't matter, but uh, I guess it does. Anyway, um, I was hoping that the water flow would actually work as well. Because, I mean, it makes sense too, I suppose. Um, but these are like electric fans. But, you know, that's fine. Maybe. I don't know. Okie dokie, so let's go ahead and spawn this thing in, and uh, I'm actually going to go to sleep real quick in order to make it uh, daytime again, because it is currently nighttime. Then we're going to sail around and try and find our boat, and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully that'll be fine. Alright, cool. Um, small fire next to the police department. Oh, it's all the way up there. So our boat is only here. Let's go ahead and set that as our waypoint. Jump inside. We do have connectors on the back. Do we have enough rope for that? I think we got two. Yes. Uh, turn it on. Do this. Oh, actually, I know we're gonna lose some fuel for this, but we should um, we should get a temperature sensor. Oh no, we do. They're currently zero and zero. That's not right. Hang on. We have temperature sensors, but they're not connected. So uh, left engine needs to go down to this. It's not really a good temperature sensor because it goes all the way down to like the wrong place. But uh, that's fine. We'll check the temperature of the, uh, the radiator, rather than the engine. That might make sense. I don't know. Anyway, spawn it in. We've lost a ton of fuel because, in testing, I accidentally connected the fuel to the air on the engine, and it just drains it straight away. So make sure you don't do that. Anyway, inside we go. Let's go. Let's do this. All right, there we go. Throttle up the full. Okay, awesome. Uh, our temperature should be actually quite high. We're going to lower this back down. To about 10, yeah, that makes sense. And we're gonna go with 10 all the way there. Hopefully that's okay. Actually, turns out, turns out we're not, actually. Um, so the problem is that we don't actually have the propellers that are actually strong enough to push this thing along. So instead of having four, we're actually gonna have eight. H, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So this is gonna go here, 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 here. There we go, awesome. And uh, we're gonna build these in too. Obviously from the same spot as this one. Which makes things very interesting, but let's see. So down to there. We're then going to have to go like in and sideways, but that's okay. This is going to go this way. We're going to attach those guys onto there like that. We're going to send this across here like this. And then finally, oh, wait, it goes that way too. We need another one of these. Here we go. So this is a pipe that I never really use, but that's okay. Go ahead and smack it on there like that. And there we go. All right, pretty weird. We've got a lot of propellers now. <laughs> We've got so many propellers now, but maybe that's okay. So spawn in, let's go inside. Um, turn this on. Yeah, okay. That actually sounds a lot better. But we still need more. It sounds a lot better, but we still need more. How ridiculous. What speed are we going? Like, seven. That's really not good. But, I mean, we'll get down there. We'll, we'll fix it, and then we'll come back. Oh, and there is another thing in Stormworks as well. Um, one by one wedges actually create less drag. So if you ever wanted to um, build a boat that's really, really efficient, just build it out of one by one wedges and uh, you'll do better than this. Because at the minute, we literally have like no one by one wedges, a million one by two wedges, and a million one by four wedges, which doesn't really work for me. But um, I wanted it to look kind of nice too, and that's what I went for. But uh, it it's, it's kind of a bad choice in career mode to be fair, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, so we've actually made it pretty much all the way here, which is nice. Uh, the problem is, I, I am actually heating my engine up again. Um, this isn't like a true engine temperature either, this is just the radiator temperature. Uh, so obviously it could be worse than that, which uh, it might be. Also, I'm going to turn this off while we are actually here, so that makes sense. There we go, we're in, we're in the right place, this is good. Um, so now all we need to do is attach this boat to that boat and then uh, we need to head home I'm gonna leave this off real quick though for a little bit uh, So that hopefully the temperature goes all the way down whether that'll actually happen or not. I'm not sure, but we'll see um, Right, so I need to attach that onto there but um, I don't want to jump in the water Because of issues <laughs> don't want to jump in the water because of issues Alright, here we go. Let's reverse up. 
and then turn it off. Okay, we're reversing up, and then we're going to turn it off, and then we can attach this to there. And then we can get the other one from underneath here, and attach this to there also. And then we should be able to drag this back. Yeah. So that'll be good. Um, what are our engine temperatures? So they need to go down, realistically. They're a little bit too high at the moment. We're at 37 degrees. Um, which, again, isn't, like, really bad, but it's not... It's it's not going to be an accurate reading, and it is also not actually changing. <laughs> They're right there. Um, yeah, I figured them being in the water might be a good idea, but maybe not. Maybe not. All right, but the other thing is, uh, I do actually have a fire extinguisher on board. Uh, I do also have a hatch down to the engines if I need to. In fact, I'll show you guys that now. We might as well show you. So if we go around the side, we go into here. We can actually jump inside the ship. And inside, we have the engines, as you guys can see, one there, and one there. It is currently 52 degrees. It's 52 degrees on the on there. Slowly uh, cooling down, that's good. But, um, yeah, that's not the 37 or so that it says inside, so we need to be careful of that, but I'm sure it's fine. Anyway, we're back inside, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing moving. Uh, we have the ability now to fix those, if we have any issues with them. Uh, and that's good, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and start pulling. In the right direction, which is north. And then uh, we'll get home in no time. Yeah. Okay, this is good. This is good. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Do, 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 do. There we go. Our RPS is around 10. That's good. And we are, in fact, moving. Brilliant. Okay, so as you guys seen, or maybe seen in the previous video. Whoa, that was risky. Um, this thing does actually still work somewhat. It was on fire, but it, it didn't actually... Why did that just happen? Why did it just do that? I've left the door open. Oh, God. Okay. Uh, open this up. Why is that boat doing that? Jump back across. Ooh, there we go. Why are you going sideways and stuff? What's that going to... Why is it doing that? That's so weird. All right, we're going to try it again. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump back across to this one. There we go. I'm risking this. This is, like, scary, but that's fine. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and turn on the engine in here. There we go. Throttle it up a little bit. Not maximum. That would be really bad. Clutch it up so that it is actually moving. There we go. And also clutch it to the right position so that it doesn't turn sideways on us. I need zero. There we go. Good. And now we should be going a little bit faster because we got both engines actually working. Um, so that's good. All right, nice. Let's go back outside. Close this up. I need to now jump. Whoa. Jump back across onto that boat. There we go. Excellent. Easy peasy. Get back inside. And yeah, we need to go in that direction. Hopefully this is okay. Uh, maybe. Maddie. Hey, Maddie. Yeah? I'm looking for you. Oh, okay. Hi. Uh, right, bye. okay, see ya. Okay, so, uh, this is my left engine temperature, that is my right engine temperature. They are both pretty much the same. But what we can take from this is that the actual engine temperature is uh, about 10 degrees more than that. So if they're both at 43, uh, it's probably around, uh, around, actually no, maybe more than that, isn't it? Yeah, probably like 20 more, so let's go with 60 degrees. That's okay for an engine, so, um... I'm okay with that. We can actually speed up then, if that's the case. Makes us a little bit less efficient, but we should still be good. So, that's good. Anyway, uh, we're almost home. We're going to go and deliver these guys. And uh, after that, we'll probably go do a mission. Maybe. Also, can I just say how lucky I am to uh, have this boat actually still working a little bit, which is good. Uh, and also, the fact that I didn't fall into the water when jumping between the boats. Because clearly, that was a bad idea. But, um, oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? I now need to go run out there and try and rescue that one because it's still moving. Yeah, okay. We need to swim out there and grab that one before it dies too. Um, that'll be fine, I think. Yeah, so it's it's still on its way. Very slowly. But, um, yeah, it's fine. Hopefully you guys can see this. It's, it is it is very dark. But uh, I think you might be able to see the outline of the boat. Maybe. All right, here it is. We should be able to press B on it. Hey, there we go. So we've rescued our boat back to the uh, the workbench. That is, that is exactly what we wanted. So that's good. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, go to sleep for... Oh, no, you've escaped. This is actually my dog from uh, the beginning of the game. 
We're gonna go ahead and put the dog back in the uh, in the house, and then we're gonna go to sleep, and we'll see what kind of mission we get. All right, so apparently there is an ore machine that is on fire that we need to go ahead and uh, get to. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get my truck out. We're gonna drive our truck all the way down there. Um, we're also gonna modify the truck a little bit to have a bit of a water tank on it, so that if we wanted to, we can uh, use a hose to put out a fire. I mean, that makes sense to me, so hopefully we can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab it real quick. I like that my boat and my truck fit in the same place. That's cool. Um, and then we need a tank. All right. Kind of like a, a medium tank will do. Uh, but we need more than just one. We're probably going to need a few. Uh, and I don't know where to put them. <laughs> I don't know where to put this tank. Maybe we can actually put it here and have a, an actual storage of water. Uh, on the back of the truck. Is that weird? That might be a bit weird, but let's try it. So there we go, all the way up to there. Excellent, that's fine. We're then going to go ahead and do the this. There we go, take it. Actually, no. We're going to go ahead and do this. There you go. Go straight down. Add a pump to it. Here we go. And we should be able to attach this directly onto there. Just like that. This is out. Get ourselves a hose attachment. Yes, a hose attachment just like so. And that is going to be filled with water. Yes, so fresh water, I guess. Yeah, sure. Fresh water. Fresh water. And that is fine. We now need an actual button to turn that on. Here we go. Toggle button. Let's go ahead and smash this in down here. We're going to get a dial for each one. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and smash that on there too. One, two, and three. Excellent. So this is going to go to there. This is going to go to there. And this is going to go to there. And that is fine. Yeah. All right, what else do we need to do? Pump on and off needs to go to here. We need some electricity for both of these guys to make sure they're on and working. Uh, that's good. Down to there. Excellent. Uh, and we'll do another one just in case. Excellent. Hey, that's good. And now we should be able to actually fire water out of those. Is that true? Who knows? Who knows? All right, so go inside. Grab ourselves a hose. Wait, where are the hoses? Do I, do I actually have one on board? I don't think I've got a hose on board, so let me get one. Hose. Yeah, right. Okay, so this is going to go on this side like so, uh, and we'll also have a spare one uh, underneath. We'll actually put it just like this. That's fine. Okay, let's go. Hopefully this is enough water, by the way. I'm not sure if it is or isn't, but uh, 177, 187. Okay, so if I do this, grab that, attach it under there, press this, press B. Yeah, all right, cool. And I don't think that wasted too much water, but we will respawn it, and then we'll get going. Let's do this. This is actually really good. This is a good idea. All right, inside we go. Excellent. Yes. Close this door and let's get going straight away. Whack on all of those. Whereabouts is it? So we're going to cross over here and then we're going to go... Oh, it's quite a wiggly road over there, but we, we got this. All right. So we did have a bit of a whoopsie. Uh, I, I might have smacked the front end of this thing into the ground and that has destroyed us. But don't worry about that. It is it is still fine. Uh, I might have to put a wheel on the on the front, like sideways or something, so that if the front does touch the ground, it is okay. Or we just move the uh, the, the the skis forwards a little bit, and that should save us as well. Um, it's not like I hit it very hard. I just hit it at a bit of an angle. It smacked the corner off the floor, and that destroyed my entire truck. But um, yeah, we are almost there. So oh, we have to go around this. Oh, of course we do. Of course we do. This road leads to nothing. Why would this road lead to nothing? That would be, yeah, I don't know. I want to know why. I want to know why. Anyway, can I go down that way? That's probably, oh, I was going to say probably an easier way down, but actually, I don't know. We're going to go this way. Luckily, there is actually a gas station not that far away. So as soon as we get there, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll get ourselves a new truck and then we'll do the mission. And then we should be good after that. But yeah, that's a bit annoying. A little bit annoying. Kind of an interesting way around there, isn't it? Like, uh, I don't know, around the side of a cliff. I like the idea of that. Anyway, we're going to go across this bridge. Yes. We've, we've been across the bridge before, so don't worry too much about this. It's fine. Uh, oh, last time we did actually, we, we did tip over, didn't we? Anyway, let's ignore that. Let's go ahead and go down to there. I don't know whether we've got any water left in the actual tanks, because they are damaged, as you guys can see. Uh, so we might have to go to the gas station first, which might be okay, I guess. Yeah, no, you know what? Let's go to the gas station first. It's just here. Uh, and then we'll come back, we'll do the mission, and that'll be fine. You know, we might actually want to do, like, a full redesign of this. Uh, and maybe just the front, though, because the rest of it does actually seem to be okay. Uh, so, because the front of the, the, the cab actually sticks out so much, it is smacking off the ground quite a lot. So, if we just, uh, I don't know, nudge it backwards a little bit and maybe even make it a little bit higher, 
Um, we can make it look better. Also, this bit back here, I might fill in. Uh, and actually have that be, uh, like a closed room as well for the people. Um, I feel like that makes a little bit of sense. We can also actually have, like, an actual water tank in there. And that'd be really good. Uh, but I don't know. So, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that. If you do, that'd be, um, something that I might consider. And if you don't, then we might not do it. But we'll see. We'll see. Also, I haven't done it in a few videos. But if you guys have made it to this point... Uh, maybe say apple. I'll put a, an emoji of an apple in the, uh, in the comments down below. I loved it when we did the pineapple. I loved it when we did the orange. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see what an apple looks like in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys are actually still enjoying the series too. I, I am. Uh, it's just obviously we, we have a few setbacks. Uh, but now hopefully everything should be good. Oh, can I bump up that? Yep, okay, good. Yes. All right, nice. I'm used to the boat steering being the other way around, so I'm actually steering this the wrong way as well. Very weird. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fix this, and then we're going to go back into... I was going to say battle, but no, we're going to go back in and see if we can um, put out the fire. Because that's what we need to do at the end of the day. That's, that's all we need. Uh, edit vehicle, yes. Spawn it in, let's go. Yeah, nice. All right, here we go. Up we go. Do we still have... Yep, yeah, all right. Fantastic. This time, just don't smash it into anything, and we should be good to go. Oh, and the other thing that I would really like to do is actually start making either planes or helicopters, because, uh, to be honest, as one of your guys' comments said, uh, the more time I spend in the water, the more damage I do. So, um, yeah, we're, we're going to try and stay away from the water for a little bit. Uh, until we build, like, a boat that's big enough. Or we might even build a tanker soon. That would be a really good, a good build. Uh, a really big... Oh, not really big, but like a medium tanker. Uh, that would be awesome, because we, we need more fuel again, so that would make sense. Anyway, the, the fire is somewhere in here. Let's go ahead and put it out. Here we go. All right, we can actually drive into this building, so we will. Oh, that is a big fire, actually. That is a big boy fire. All right, so we turn this on. We go ahead and we grab this, and we go towards the fire, and we just start firing at it. There we go. Nice. I'm assuming this will go out relatively quickly, but I could be wrong. Um, I feel like it should be, though. Also, if we run out of water, we can use our fire extinguisher, but I figured the water would actually work a little bit better than anything else. And there we go, we did it. We extinguished the fires, we got three grand, and we got a research point, so that's good. Um, with that being said, how much did we actually use? Not even one tank. Oh, good. That's actually really, really good. All right, turn that off. Uh, let's go ahead and reverse out of here. And there we go. Nice. So, what I think we'll do is, uh, we'll actually return to the gas station. We'll do our modifications on this in the next video. And, uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit more squished, a little bit taller, and a little bit further away from the ground. Uh, and I think that'll end up looking really good. Anyway, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.